Ever since Steve Rogers decided to hand his shield off to Sam at the end of Avengers Endgame, fans have wondered what was next. We got a Disney Plus series that showed Sam hesitance to pick up the mantle of Captain America and the history that comes with it. By the end of the series, he knew he was the only person who could be the new Captain America. Now where do we go? It looks like the upcoming film Captain America Brave New World will tell us. You just don't understand. I'm a black man carrying the stars and stripes. What don't I understand? First up, a name change. The new film was initially revealed to be Captain America New World Order. If you're a wrestling fan like me, you had visions of Sam decked out in his new Captain America gear, fighting off Hulk Hogan clad in his old black and white wrestling gear from the days of his heel run as leader of the faction, the NWO. While these are only fun ideas that nerds like to put together at the mention of the New World Order, others seemed very surprised by the use of the subtitle. Even before WCW thought up the name of the Renegade Group, it was used by conspiracy theorists to describe the powerful elite that want to form a single world government and enslave everyone. There is a lot more to go into, but seriously, there is not enough time. And Joe Blow doesn't want to end up on a conspiracy hit list. Google it if you feel brave enough. Some believed it also has a tinge of anti-Semitism within these circles as well. As production began, the name was changed to Captain America Brave New World. Some feel this sounds like a more positive sounding title as it looks forward to a new world. Those who have read the Aldous Huxley book think that might be a little naive. It's not. Every time we fight, we fight one of the three. So who are you fighting now, Gandalf? How do you know about Gandalf? I read The Hobbit in 1937 when it first came out. So you see my point? No. With this film being in the Phase 5 lineup of the MCU, you know there has to be some returning superheroes. Of course, Anthony Mackie will be back as Sam Wilson. He'll don the red, white, and blue as the new Captain America, as we saw him embrace the part at the end of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. How will the character handle carrying his own movie? That's the big question. As a sidekick to Steve Rogers, Sam worked as the wisecracking guy with wings. Even as one of the main characters of the Disney Plus series, he could at least share some of the lead with Sebastian Stan's Winter Soldier. Now, he will be front and center. We'll see if the character has the legs, uh, wings, to carry the story on his own. One of the characters we met in the series was Isaiah Bradley, who was the first African-American Captain America. While Steve Rogers was taking an ice nap, the government was still working to find a way to replicate the super soldier serum. Unfortunately for Isaiah, his chance of becoming a super soldier was not his choice. He was imprisoned and experimented on until he escaped. His love for state and country is not riding very high these days. Another character crossing over from Disney Plus is Joaquin Torres, who seems to be taking up the mantle of Falcon. We saw him in some episodes of the show and had worked with Sam Wilson before. Now, it looks like he will earn his wings and help the captain. The two significant returns that surprised many people were two characters and actors from way back in The Incredible Hulk. Tim Blake Nelson will return as scientist Samuel Stearns. He was contaminated by Hulk's irradiated blood and seemed to be set up as a future Hulk villain, the leader. His enhanced intelligence due to the irradiated blood makes him a formidable foe. The plot thread seemed to have been left dangling as no more solo Hulk films were made. Liv Tyler is also returning as Betty Ross. She was the love interest of Bruce Banner and the daughter of Thunderbolt Ross. The entire film of The Incredible Hulk seemed to have been forgotten, except for William Holt's appearance in a few movies and Tim Roth's recent return on She-Hulk. Now, it looks like they are finally pulling in some other characters to fill out the Hulk's roster. Mark Ruffalo seemed to announce he'd be coming back for this film, but Marvel has said that was untrue. Maybe a post credit scene. So you heard none of it? I'm sorry. I'm not that kind of doctor. I'm not a therapist. It's not my training. So? I, I don't have the... What, the time? Temperament. The most significant addition comes with Harrison Ford taking over the character of Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. William Hurt unfortunately passed away in 2022. Before when an actor passed away, Marvel shied away from recasting the character. This time, they decided to bring in a new actor. This seemed to raise some questions about why it was okay in this instance, but not for Black Panther after Chadwick Boseman died before being able to film the sequel. Getting Harrison Ford in the movie is definitely a plus, no matter his role. This time around, Ross will be the new president of the United States. 
States. Now that the gruff military guy is in charge of the whole country, how will that play against the world of superheroes? Well, there are some rumors that he could end up being the villain of the film. Some rumblings have been made that Ross will be turning into the Red Hulk. In the comics, Ross had found a way to turn into a giant monster, just like Bruce Banner, only with a red tint. The character of Sabra will be making her MCU debut, played by Shira Haas. Some were concerned that debuting an Arab character during the times of unrest that is currently happening in the world might have consequences. Marvel has assured fans that they have taken care to update the character for a modern audience, as they have with other heroes that have been brought to the big screen. In the comics, Sabra is a mutant who can transfer her life essence into others, and even give them superpowers. WWE superstar Seth Rollins has filmed some scenes for the film. No one is sure what character he will be playing, but rumors are possibly King Cobra as part of the Serpent Society. The group was a snake-themed team that fought against Captain America numerous times. The film has undergone some reshoots, with some claims that the Serpent Society arc has been completely cut out of the film. Who knows if Rollins will even make the cut. Cut, print, check the gate, moving on. Filming began in March of 2023, and the looming writer and actor strikes had fans wondering if they would finish before the strike started. Marvel indicated that it shouldn't interrupt filming all that much, as they were already planned breaks between the regular shoot and later reshoots. In theory, this film was already ahead of where Deadpool and Wolverine were at in production. They felt they should remain on course for their July 26, 2024 release date. For whatever reason, it was decided to go full steam ahead on finishing Deadpool and Wolverine, and release it on this date, and push Brave New World to February 14th, 2025. In all honesty, it was probably their best decision. Deadpool and Wolverine seems guaranteed to be a billion dollar movie. The hype is already at a fever pitch. The new version of Captain America still seems like it could end up being a gamble one way or the other. Fans can be fickle about their favorite character. Falcon and the Winter Soldier didn't light up Disney+, Plus, but fared well enough. Gambling a summer release date on a character that is unsure if he can carry his own film might be something Marvel isn't looking to do with some of their recent films failing below expectations lately. Hopefully we'll be seeing a trailer soon, possibly even attached to Deadpool and Wolverine. After watching Deadpool work with the TVA to clean up the Fox Marvel Universe, then maybe we'll get the pleasure of watching Harrison Ford turn into a giant red Hulk and face off against the new captain. As President Ross, do you think we'll get to see him grab someone by the collar at some point and tell them, Get off my plane before smashing them it's anyone's guess so are you ready for captain america brave new world let us know in the comments think about it right i'm right i just i just came up with that it's crazy